quite a lot of requests to do a pantry organization kind of video for you guys. Like literally everything I've gotten is from Little Label Co. So I thought I would actually do a whole video on it. Um, why not? I absolutely love organization. I feel like that would be like really cool to watch if like you were doing your own stuff. I love watching other people organize their pantry so I can get ideas and like think about whether or not like no I don't want to do that or yes I want to do that. I'm sure I've done a proper kitchen tour already for you guys. I'll just open this pantry. So there's two pantries that I'm organizing for Little Level Co. This pantry here, as you can tell we haven't even got the handles on it yet. I have gotten a few things so far just uh, like essential kind of things that we've needed over the past couple weeks. Uh, tea bags and some snacks, my supplements from your HP lab, which you can get for a discount using Chloe 10. <laughs> Dokie. So here are all of the containers unwrapped. The big jars for pasta and like rice and snack jars, which these can be put on the side or down. And then we've got some medium, some, oh, they're medium as well. We've got some like, um, storage containers where like you can put like your potatoes and stuff in them. Um, and then we have some clear ones too, usually, um, ones and stuff like that and an egg tray um for the fridge anything that doesn't look very aesthetic i want to put them in here and then these are little jars the little ones the little little ones these are going to be our spice um jars so i'm going to put each spice in here natalie and i have designed all of this to make it like very very um, usable and user friendly but like very aesthetically pleasing as well for all of you guys out there that are like you know functionality matters just as much as aesthetics matter and so it might look really nice at the start but it's not functional I want it to be functional and so it's going to be functional I'm very excited um, so yeah all these are going to go into here so this is the little storage co as you guys know by all of the labels if you guys want to get yourselves a discount you can do so using my code chloe10 so it'll give you guys a discount but yeah they have really really good storage as you guys can see and I just can't wait to actually buy all my food and make it aesthetic. So obviously Dean and I moving out, we literally had absolutely nothing. And so this is what we've accumulated over the past like month, probably. I think it's been a month we've been like accumulating all of this stuff. And yeah, that's kind of what we've just like gotten along the way. Yeah, I'm just super duper excited to organize my whole pantry with little storage coat gonna be so much fun and looks so so bloody aesthetic literally the whole entire kitchen matches all of the storage the aftermath of the boxes i'm gonna write down a list of everything i don't have and then tomorrow i'll take you guys with me as awkward as it's gonna be walking through the shopping centers with you guys and we're gonna go through the shops and grab everything we need Okay, so we just did a massive shop and literally got everything. We got everything we'll possibly need. So we spent about $600. Okay, so here is all the groceries laid out. It has a long lifespan, so we got a lot of cleaning stuff. All of this is cleaning. Then some of this is like storage, just wipes and sponges. Then we got Spices, as you can see, <laughs> lots of spices because I love to cook, so lots of spices. And then I got some cans because cans of things just don't go off very quickly. The baking area, so the spreads, so pisco, peanut butter, all that stuff. And then the nuts behind it, so I'm going to make a couple nut jars. 
So we've got all those nuts there. We've got a mixed pack and then the other ones here. And then we've got cereals, so breakfast area. Um, so cereals, pancakes, that thing, like carbs. <laughs> we've got some sauces, uh, like lots of sauces, like great. And over here is like our beverage area, which is like our coffee. Um, today, it's like literally all about the pantry. I'll be doing all of this with you guys. Okay, so in here at the moment we have this. <laughs> so it's very just like the bare essentials of what that's what we've had so far. I think that's about it. Here we have the second pantry. So this here is where we've been keeping all the little storage co. Items. We've actually done a pantry design. We've listed all of the things we want in the pantry and the fridge and then we've given like a inspo drawing and then Natalie from Little Label Co has drawn up a little design for our kit uh, for our pantries. So that's one pantry, that's another pantry and then I've gone ahead and done my own um, and like that. So that's what we're gonna do now. That literally labels exactly what we have. But I know that I could plan for everything. That I ended up um, just stopping cleaning up and going to bed. Because I'm filming, it just takes a little bit longer. But it's getting there. And I'm actually washing all of the glasses first. Not because they're dirty, but just because I just don't want any like any traces of any dirt or anything going on them. So I'm just washing every single glass first. Going ahead and drying them, as you can see here. And then I go ahead and put the ingredients from over here on into them. So um, yeah, it's been a very, very long process. I'm just absolutely obsessed with these little coffee, sugar and tea. Okay guys, the reveal is finally here. So I'm gonna open it up and show you now. I so that is the pantry. So yeah, I'm super, super stoked with how it's all turned out. This is one of the pantries. Um, this is like the opening, like the cooking area pantry because the island's right here. The pantry is, it's in our butlers, so it's a little bit more out of sight, out of mind. Um, so we've put a lot of like storage things here. Like here is our second pantry. So here are all our spreads. So it's not a Lazy Susan, all of these are on a Lazy Susan, which 
I'm actually super proud of it. It took me a while, let's just say. reveal I'm very very excited to show you because it is taking me a while to get all the products and put them all in and then label them. I'm very excited to show you I'm doing this with the little label code so if you guys want to go check them out all the details in the description as well below but here is the pantry are you ready So here is everything, all our spices, all our everything. So we've got spices here, and then I added another spice rack from the last time I showed you guys, um, because it just made more sense, and it just fills out the space nicer. But we've still got the sprinkles at the bottom here, and then we have our bigger ingredients, like vegetable stock, cocoa powder, even dried shallots, dried cranberries, and apricots, all that kind of stuff, as well as baking powder and stevia, all on this section here with a little bit of a larger jar. And then up here we have our milk, milk chocolate, white chocolate and dark chocolate behind. And then our flowers, our bread crumbs, um, also our pastas, our nut mixes. And then up here we have our sugars, our desiccated coconut, Milo, all that. And then we have our cereals and rice. All the spices have one font and then all of the jars and the um, containers actually have a different font. She helped me out with that because I chose like six different fonts that didn't make sense. So this whole section here is one font and then the rest is a different font. Then we move up to the top, which I have to raise the camera for, but that is a different font in itself. Um, and I'm excited to show you that too. Okay, so up here we have our cans, our seasonings, our gravy, sushis, and our rice and pastas. All of this is just containers to be able to hold them. Um, and then we have an extra one here for miscellaneous stuff or for things that I haven't thought of yet. So very excited to use all that. I'll take you to the other side now and I'll show you the other side because this is just one of the pantries. As you guys know, in the kitchen I have two pantries. So this one's for more like the baking stuff and like pastas, muesli, all that breakfast we more so call it. But then over there is kind of like, I'll show you. Entry reveal time. I know this is a really awkward angle, but it's really hard to capture us. So let's just enjoy the pantry reveal. Ah! So gorgeous. So I've actually, I'm gonna put the cam a light on because it's a bit of a muggy day today. You can't really see everything really well. Okay, uh, here's the other pantry that I'm gonna show you guys. Are you ready? So you can only see the bottom half at the moment, but that'll be fine for now. We have like this turning um, tray. It literally just allows you to like just turn everything to be able to access everything really easily. So I absolutely love that. In this one we have all our oils, our vinegars. So we have our olive oil, white wine vinegar, white vinegar, balsamic vinegar, and red wine vinegar. And if you've made food with a HelloFresh before, you'll know that that is red wine vinegar is used in like everything. Then we have in the middle our sauces, so like barbecue sauce, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, fish sauce, cream cheese sauce, everything that hasn't been like necessarily opened yet, or if it has been opened, doesn't need to be refrigerated. We have here. But everything that's refrigerated is in the fridge and that's for another day. Then we have our spreads. So we have like Biscoff, peanut butter, Vegemite, healthy peanut butter, and then honey, maple syrup. And then up here we have our cans, our popcorns, our sauces, and our noodles. So in each, it's a pretty explanatory, but I have popcorn. And here we have all our cans, like our corn kernels or like coconut cream, anything like that. And in sauces, we have like our bolognese sauce, like our chicken stock. And then in the noodles, we'll have like two minute noodles or um, lasagna sheets, anything like that. And then up here, we have, this is just like a miscellaneous one, so like for biscuits, chips, all that kind of stuff. And this is bread, it's stuff that like you don't really want to be on show, I put here. This is bread, so you can see it, so you can use it and see it and whatever. Because honestly, I feel like with bread, it's like something that you actually just need to open the cupboard and see it, and then you can use it. You also want to see whether or not it's gone moldy or whatever, so I like to see it all the time. Taking the cover out of that, and so you can see it. And then we've got onions here, and that you don't have to see, like who cares. And then we've got potatoes as well, to keep it like 
nice and clean and neat. And up here we have our snack jars. They're up the highest so I can reach them the less, but I can still reach them nonetheless, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, I've got snacks, so this one's empty. It's just for whenever we get anything. Um, I'll just put anything in there that I haven't got a jar for. I've got muesli bars in this one. I've got lollies in this one. And I've actually had, I don't know, I had cookies in there like a week ago. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wash it, but Dean has already eaten them all, so that's annoying. That's all done now too. So that is our pantry, that is the pantry reveal. Um, I hope you guys love it. I am so obsessed with it. We just keep like stocking up on everything. So as soon as anything gets like half empty, I'll like start to stock up. And I have a drawer around the side that's just like these ones, which is just for backups or like stock ups or whatever. Um, so anytime I'm running low on anything, I'll just fill it back up. And so this is always perfect. So I'm very, very, very happy. It took a lot of time to finish and do, but it's definitely worth it because now I can actually see everything that's in my pantry and 